Previously on Fool's Gold Sands. You see before you a roughly five and a half feet tall person. He is wearing an exceptionally large sombrero, and you can see that his face and body is bandaged. I am Nelthor, uh, mummy. What, what's your problem with him? Undead or scourge. You guys have entered a, a camp called Geld. We're just passing through on the way to the city. Well, you're going to be hard pressed to make any progress past here. Because you got the raging sands to the east of here between you and the city. Well, if you're certain, go. you can go talk to Linda. Then the deal is sealed. I will clear out the bandits and then we will get transportation. Yeah, you know what? Your funeral. I'm in. The thing about these people is they could be friends. They're abducting our people. No, I know. It's not great. But you don't know what their meaning is. I need to talk to your leader? Name's Bite Mite. We have people going missing, and they're the ones stealing them from us. Cor, I think there's a miss- What? I'm too busy killing! No, they they think that Linda is stealing their people. You're able to track them to a certain spot in the desert, and then it ends. Yeah. Uh, and then you hear a loud crack, and both of you fall down into the sand. And as soon as you land down here, you're overwhelmed by a smell of rot. It's like, I, I don't know if I really want to go in there. You can, you can hold Cor's hand. Soon after, you're greeted by the sound of a soul-piercing hiss. Last time we played, Rooster was just like, oh no, bad sound. But then I think he actually kind of goes, wait, this is perfect. Is it? Yes. Because I could focus on the creature and destroying the creature instead of this tiny little hole that I'm in. Good. That is a good plan. They teach you that in military camp. Focus on the enemy in front of you, not the hordes of your comrades dying in droves near you. That too, I guess. Focus on the enemy. Yeah, I'll focus on the enemy. Okay, focus, focus on the enemy. And then he's just going to book it. He just let go of Cora's hand and run away. Yeah, he just runs right forward. Okay. <laughs> I don't need to say anything. This is your <laughs> problem. All right, well, I mean, Cor will try to follow you. What, are you moving at your top movement speed? Yeah, it's 30 feet. Okay, I'm slower than that. I'm 20. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, so he outruns you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, yeah you, I outrun you, and I do, like, a battle cry. Well, it best is Rooster's battle cry is. I want to hear the battle cry. I don't I don't want to blow out the ears of everyone. <laughs> the, the audience. audience. Oh. Not just you. <laughs> like, you remove just your Just takes out her earbuds. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> like, okay. everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> but it is very loud and very shaky, so... um. You just hear the the pitter patter of him running. So, Cor, you hear pitter patter, you hear shriek, and then you hear boom, and then quiet. I mean, he's gonna go investigate that. Oh yeah. Um, as you proceed down the tunnel and catch up to Rooster, you see that eventually the tunnel ended and kind of well, not this tunnel ended and he dropped into a larger chamber and mm. just like fell down. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine, but yeah. Yeah. Ah, I mean, he's resilient. He's like a fucking, he's like rubber, so he gets up. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm good. All right. Out of the way. He Cora's, moves a bit to the side. His core's going to drop down. I could catch you if you want. He's already jumped. What are you doing? Are you going to catch him or, or are you going to move? Uh, roll to the dice. Yeah, roll to the dice. Uh, I'll do a high-low. Do a stupid roll. Stupid roll, high-low, high. He does it low. He doesn't. Uh, He does, 61. He does try to catch me? Yep, he puts his hands out. Cool. Uh, Rooster, two points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> <laughs> well, can I at least roll a strike? I sure. can, I can, I can hold up to stuff. What's your, what's your weight? I didn't write it down, but I'm oh. seven feet tall of pure muscle. They're about 300 pounds. Okay. What, well, what's your carrying capacity? Well, I can lift off of ground 460. Okay. So, but it's also coming at you with velocity. Then so let me yeah, try. give me strength check. Let me, me fucking strength. try. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a three on the die plus plus three. So yeah, you take two points of that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth the try. And I think uh, Rooster just laughs that off. He thinks it's fun. Okay, you can get off of me now. He gets up. <laughs> Gets out. And in front of you guys are three tunnels. You hear uh, a bit of chittering, a little bit like faint hissing every once in a while, 
coming from pretty much all of the tunnels except the right one. And do we want to go down the quiet one? Isn't that where, like, they wouldn't be? Hmm. I guess we can't just shout at it. Probably make some more noise. I suppose if we wanted to call whatever it was to us. I scream. He does like a, hello! It's Rooster! The other two tunnels briefly go quiet. And then over time, the chitter slowly picks up again. But you certainly killed all the noises in here for a brief moment. Okay. So I guess... Maybe- and you probably heard a loud uh, shriek from a creature echoing through the tunnels. Yeah. You know what? You can make it out that that one came from the middle one. Uh, the middle, I suppose. Okay. Cool. This tunnel leads forward for quite a while. And there's little alcoves and rocks everywhere. Like This, this tunnel looks like it's been dug by a creature. Mm. It's not natural. And eventually... You see that the tunnel kind of expands a little bit. You come to a slightly larger chamber and see that there is... Actually, give me spot checks. Okay. Rooster's, like, putting his hands up near his face because he's trying to hyper-focus on, like, going down the tunnel. So he's, if anything, he's hindering his vision (laughs) on both sides. (laughs) So he's just kind of tunnel vision. Literally tunnel vision. You get a minus four. Got it. I got an 11. Oh, yeah! Not one! <laughs> Don't be happy about it! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Literally, as you guys are trying to spot, um, Cor, Rooster stands proudly in front of you and looks at you, blocking your entire view. Hey! Turn around. <laughs> oh, okay. Your Cor just probably does this thing where he put takes out his whole hand, grabs the top of Rooster's head, and just, like, rotates him around. <laughs> one, like, not 180. <laughs> your hands are cold. Mm. Well, you can't make out what it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. But if you approach Hello. closer, you see that there is what looks like a fleshy mass about four feet tall inside of the tunnel. It's a goo. It does look like a goo. Some sort of goo. Would you like to avoid it or examine it? Uh, I mean, do you think this is what hissed at us? Do you think that's a big monster? Oh, it might be the big monster. It doesn't seem particularly big. And I don't know how this could drag people down from the surface. It's probably not what we're looking for. What if it's... What if it's the knoll? Maybe he let himself go down here. Maybe mm, that's it. Maybe it's the remains of the knoll. I'll inspect it closer. Up on closer inspection, you see that this is actually more tube-shaped. And you also see that it has... Well, it's mostly reduced to a fleshy, bony mass. There's some of its purple skin left on it. I don't know. Give me a knowledge nature if you if you would know that this is a purple worm you're looking at. I mean, I don't have a knowledge nature. I just don't have that. So I... You can give me a straight-up intelligence roll. Can I? Not one. Not one? <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, this is probably ice cream. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> I rolled a, a two uh, with a plus two. One. Oh, we're Probably so, grape flavor. We're so wow. good at this. So, you don't know this dead purple worm in front of you, I guess. You just see a large worm creature that you might think tastes like ice cream, I guess. I mean... But it has been torn apart. Like, there was... Like, this thing has things shredded out of it. It looks like it's maybe been down here for, like, a day dead like this. Okay, so cool. Whatever we're dealing with has killed a purple worm. That's fine. We're level two. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. I think it's cool. Uh, I think it's not what we're looking for. Let's keep moving. We need to find proof that whatever this thing is, is the thing that has been causing the dis- the disappearances. Mm. I'm good at words. And at the end of the chamber is another two tunnels. Which direction would you like? Uh, more decisions. I will make the choice this time. Okay, your turn. I randomly pick, but confidently, the one on the left. You confidently pick left. This one, I'm sure of it. Okay. And you head towards it, uh, going for about five minutes before you actually reach a dead end. Ah. And what you find in front of you is what looks like an abandoned, well, semi-abandoned uh, campsite. Ooh. I'm saying semi-abandoned because nobody's here, and it looks like some of the stuff was packed up in a hurry, but a lot of it's still there. You can still see a tent. There was a fire that was hastily put out, and just some miscellaneous camp supplies. But this is a dead end. This doesn't lead anywhere. I want to go through the stuff. Sure. Give me a search. Hell yeah. 
Oh, I'm rolling. Can you please roll above a 10? I'm ro- rolling so good today. Um, <laughs> searches, intelligence. Ah, yes, a seven. A seven. Lucky number. Not today. Not today. Okay, you find, what do you even find with a seven? I mean, probably sh- what you just described. Yeah, yeah you- <laughs> or like a single boot. You, yeah, mm, this floor is made out of floor. Uh, <laughs> that's this very tenty tent. You find a fluffy pillow in the tent. Cor, would you like to assist? For the love of God. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> now I get the hint. I will. I will also search. I got a two on the die. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, we're so gonna die. It's gonna be rolling up new characters for, today. I got oh, I, with and with my minus one to intelligence, that brings me to a nice one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <sighs> Do you need to step outside for a little bit and yeah. calm down? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Like no, you find Rooster. Yeah, I find you found I'm, me. I'm Cor is too busy trying to like come up with a lie about why he was correct on coming. Like why why it, he didn't show just his whole ass by being like, let's go this way. It's a dead end. He's like, uh, um, I meant to come this way because I I could smell the campfire. Mm-hmm. I got a wicked pillow out of it. Good job. It was a good find. Great. Excellent. We can. Uh, it's important. It's a very important pillow. So keep that on you. That might be evidence. Anyway, let's go back uh, to the end of the tunnel and turn around. We'll go the other way now. Okay, you go the other yeah. way. Yeah, I get to choose. We go that way. <laughs> the only tunnel. <laughs> go, the other option left. Please. You take the wise decision after this very unwise search of the camp to go through the opposite <laughs> the tunnel. the best kit we could, man. <laughs> the dice. So you head through. Uh, through that tunnel, again, leads you a little while every once in a while you hear some chitters and stuff and you start to notice it's getting a little you see some kind of leftover webs here and there but these are not spider webs it's more like tendrils of slime that are sometimes just kind of like dangling across the um tunnel it's not not a ton here but some i want to touch it you you touch it um i lick it you lick it i want to know what it is okay it's it's saliva (laughs) It's it probably tastes like rotten meat. And it's dust. like rotten meat. And what? Give and and dust. Give me a fortitude. And dust. Give me fortitude, honestly. Hey, that was that bad. Uh, really? I got an eighteen. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> you safely consume mysterious <laughs> saliva. I mean, this is not the first time he's consumed something off of a wall this week. That's, yeah, that like, is true. That actually tracks. He licked the ground last session. Yeah, you know what? You're absolutely right. Okay. So at the end of this otherwise goopy tunnel, it now opens up to a very large chamber. Like I'm, this is a this is a huge, huge cavern you find under here. And what you see um, before you is that you're on a bit of a um, like a plateau, like a shelf. Mm, yeah. And then there is a bridge leading from you over across a what looks like a bottomless drop towards an ancient, decrepit-looking temple. Temple. Some kind of sandstone building hello hello fascinating are you screaming loudly yeah yeah um okay again it goes fairly quiet whenever you scream yeah as everything like listens for you it's rooster it's me i want to be your friend something comes charging across the bridge or kill you depending (laughs) what is it what's charging okay you can see a fairly large creature about the size of like a bear. So half of Kor's height? But four feet tall. Okay. Come charging across the bridge at you, and it doesn't look too kind. Okay. Right now, all you can see is a bit of a dark, bug-like silhouette. Oh, this is the creature! This is the thing! He's going to pull out his scimitar. Scimitar? Scimitars. You don't even know how to pronounce your own weapons. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it is scimitar. Scimitars. He has two... I don't think I've described his weapons. Okay, describe what Rooster's pulling out of his hammer space. No, I think they're on his belt. <laughs> I kind of. Um, he pulls out two scimitars. They are gold bladed. Like, they're not really gold. It looks like bronze. Um, but, you know, bronze kind of looks like gold. Mm-hmm. And they're. You mean brass? Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so it's brass, I guess. Uh, and they look. Very worn down. There is a bite mark on one of them. Yeah. Um, 
like a good chunk out and there's some stains on it and scratches and doesn't look very uh reliable not very well kept weapons no no there's some stains on it and you didn't think brass could stain like that but it can is there an origin story behind that bite you'd like to share at this time or no that's that's deep deep lore deep deep personal lore. that's deep personal lore okay okay we can't reveal that sorry nobody's gotta wait for that yeah sure (laughs) (laughs) uh yeah so um he's ready he's he's gonna He's readying his weapon. He's excited. I also need to uh, adjust something I said. I said bear-sized. I need to change that to about dog-sized. Oh, it's small. My apologies. Ah. What is that tiny thing? Yeah. A small bear or a very large dog. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, he's still going to be ready to fight it. He came in here looking for a fight. Yeah. Cor, what are you doing? I mean, You have a moment to prepare yourself. I mean, probably the same thing uh, as Rooster. I'm like, I'm ready for a fight. But I, this thing doesn't, I still don't buy that this thing is the thing that's been dragging people down. Like, it's not big enough. Rooster's not putting that two and two together. If anything, you forgot why we were down here. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> can I, like, ready in action? Firstly, when it comes charging in and Rooster takes out his swords, I think Kor immediately puts himself between Rooster and the thing. <laughs> because, like, he doesn't know you can fight. Yeah. Uh, hey! I want to ready in action. I want to punt it. <laughs> Okay. Like, it's coming over the bridge, and I just want to boot it back right into the castle. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's do initiatives first. Okay. Oh, my fucking oh no. God. Who's going to roll with this one? I got a six. You got a six? Yeah, a whole six. Tremble with fear. Well, you will not believe this. I got a five. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. Well, would you believe <laughs> I got a 15? Damn it. I mean, yes, I would. We're going to get our ass kicked by a dog. <laughs> A bear dog. A bear dog. Before you is a creature that has, is a little bit bug-like, has six sickle-shaped pointy legs, large unhinged jaw with razor-sharp teeth, serpentine-like tongue, and carapace with pointy needles on its back. Mm. That's a good little tail. I don't like this thing. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, not a fan. And it gets the first attack. Cool. Core, since you're in the way, it's gonna lunge at you. Yeah, I'm not afraid of that bug thing. Does a 25 and a 30 hit you? Of course it does. My God, what the fuck? (laughs) Remember, we're playing uh, good old 3.5. Jesus Christ. Immediately regret my decision (laughs) of of agreeing to this. Uh, Core, you take six points of damage total. Oof, okay. As as this thing just jumps at you and just pierces you with its claws. And with that, uh, we're off to Core. All right. I think I'm just going to try and punch it off. Okay, give me a melee attack. Dirty 20. Oh, wow, you definitely hit it. Ooh, hell yeah, that's 10. That's max damage, baby. Nice. Nice. <laughs> so um, you just punched it off you. It jumps back from your body. It kind of resets itself. It's definitely dazed by that punch because mm-hmm. you did a significant amount of damage to it. Rooster, what would you like to do? I want to hit it with my swords. Sworded real good. Cinnamon tar. Cinnamon tar. Cinnamon tar. Cinnamon bun. Okay, the first hit is fourteen, and the second one is ooh, nineteen. Nineteen hits. Yay! Ooh, uh, eight points. Uh, with eight points, oh god, eight points. Um, this thing you deal significant damage to it. Where are you just slashing at the body, or what are you trying to hit it at? Least? Ooh, if I get to choose, I yeah, go describe f- it. For its unhinged jaw. It's Ugh. fucking terrifying. It's just like, oh, I don't like that. Hey, yeah. I'm gonna okay, hit it. You, ugh, you cut the jaw off this thing. Hey, uh, I did it. And with that, it uh, winces terribly and runs away, which oh, means attacks attack of opportunity for both Sweet. of you guys. Doing it. Okay. What did you get? I only rolled a 13, but the other one is, oh, less. So. Okay. So, uh, Rooster, you miss, but Corey, Dang. you got an 18? 18. Yeah, you hit it. Just tell me how you'd like to execute it. This thing's dead. <laughs> I mean, I'll just take out my meteor glaive, and then as soon as it runs away, it, he just like long rage just slashes it. So yeah, you just throw out your your meteor glaive, and as it's trying to run away, you literally cut this creature in half, and its two sides fall to the ground. Hmm. Cora looks at you and he says, "That was good sword play. Thanks. That was a uh, good chopping that thing in half. Can I borrow your pillow? Yes." Okay, you give him the pillow, he takes out the inner stuffing of the pillow, gives it back to you, and then takes the pillowcase over to one half of the creature. And then he stuffs a half of the creature inside the pillowcase. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, so we have proof of what we found down here. Yeah, all right. 
That makes sense. That's like adventuring 101, I think. Sure. Keep the evidence. Got it. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so you see in front of you the bridge that this creature approached on. And actually, you can see there is a section of the bridge missing. You're going to need to cross a little. I'm going to start nice and small with you guys. It's a five foot gap. Let's see if you can cross a five foot gap above a bottomless pit. Okay. Yeah, because because balance is totally my strong suit. Well, you're you know, you got tools. You can think around it. How wide is the chasm? Let's say it's about 50 feet. Okay. Rooster's totally fine with jumping over a five foot thing. Like he he's he does that all the fucking time. I think I think unfortunately core is so heavy that he well, actually you're really heavy too. So the entire bridge would be kind of like creaking and moving when we try to cross there. Mm-hmm. I will say it is. It looks to be a, st- a sturdy stone bridge. Oh, so okay. Built of the oh, sandstone okay. material as well. Oh, okay. I oh, thought okay. it was then, wood. Then that's better. Um, yeah. You joining me? Yeah, I, I'm coming. Hang on. He's he's coming. Are you sure you can jump that? Oh yeah. Want to watch me? Uh, I would. Mm, I'm supposed to make sure you you get to the city safe. So maybe there's a. Maybe I should just throw you across. That might be better. No, no, no. I want to show you. I can do big jumps. Mm. Actually, this is not even a big jump. This is little jump. This is like small jump. Okay. Show me what you can do. Okay. okay he's going to get ready. <laughs> Felix is covering his eyes. He does not do feel good check. about this. Okay. He's been rolling shit all session. I rolled a 12. At least you have bonuses to your to your dex rolls. I have a lot of jump. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> So what did you roll? 12. Thank fucking God. <laughs> you jump across in style. Yeah. See? He just does a little running start and boop. Okay. Mario jumps over there. Okay. All right. Cor, Cor sees you do it and he's like, all right, I can do that. He will attempt. All right. I better roll higher than a... Oh, God, I have to roll higher than a 12. I mean, this is up to you. <laughs> Rooster's egging you on. He's like, you can do it. I know. And Cor is not, Cor's not the kind to like back down from that. He's, <laughs> he's too easily hot up in the hype. Please, Dice. <laughs> I did it. I got a 13 on the die. Yay! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So what does that work out to? A 12? or That works out to a 14. A 14. <sighs> jump across. No problem. Yeah, this guy just <laughs> fall to your death. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Like, core, you die. And if you <laughs> jump over, you knock uh, loose some rocks that are falling down and you don't hear them hit the ground. <laughs> nice. I wasn't scared. I wasn't scared at all. That was fine. No, you're great. Mm, thank Very, you. Uh... Of course, I'm great. Yeah. yeah. I think core sweats more now than he does in the desert sun. Mm. It turns to icicles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't sweat. He just kind of like steams. <laughs> it's always a cool sweat. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, let's get going. We need, still need to figure out what exactly killed all those people was that not it that was too tiny oh i don't know this would look pretty mean but okay if we can find a nest of them then i'll believe that they were the cause but otherwise no one sole little critter is not enough to take out a bunch of people Mm, gotta get a big guy okay we keep going you keep going and you approach the doors of this large ancient temple the doors are about that must be at least like 15 feet tall are huge. And I assume you push inside? Yeah. They creak open, takes a little bit of effort, but you finally get into the temple. Inside, it's hard to recognize who this temple used to be dedicated to because it is in such awful shape. And also you notice inside, there's a lot more of those kind of mucusy webs I described earlier. In fact, the walls ceilings and much of the floor is covered in this stuff let's say like uh well it's like a clear but kind of greenish shimmer to it and it also smells really strong in here of like like really strong like alcohol or like ammonia something Mm -hmm. like that core sets down like he's he looks at all the strings of saliva everywhere he sets down the uh pillowcase and he reaches in and pulls out the creature's head and he points it to you and he said he points at like the the remaining uh mucus dripping out of its out of from its teeth and he says lick that okay he licks it so sorry you lick the i made him lick the mucus from the creature that we just killed to see if it tastes the same yeah he does like just grab 
it though. Yeah, he, just he grabs it and then he licks God, his hand. So gross. It takes it tastes fresher, I guess, but yeah. Nice. Matches mm. the creature. So we might be dealing with an entire nest of these things. Mm. The ground's pretty uh slippy slidey. Is there like a hallway or anything like that? Yes. You can push forward. This is um a temple with many different rooms and hallways and all that kind of stuff. And most of them are accessible if a little goopy. Ooh, I got an idea. Watch me. And then he like runs and he slides. <laughs> My God. With yeah, you power slide on the slime on the ground na, 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 na. and coat yourself in it. And then eventually Ugh. you <laughs> hit something <laughs> and fall over it and stumble. Uh, so you stumbled over a corpse rooster. This corpse seems to be, again, a couple days old or so. It do- it's not an owl. Um, maybe, you know, it's like a co- like with its proportions, maybe human, elf, something like that. Does it have any kind of really discernible clothing on it? Something we can take back? Much of the clothing has just kind of been shredded and destroyed, but you do notice a bag on it. And this bag has no damage on it whatsoever. It's just kind of covered in mucus. I mean, I'll take the take the bag, but I will, like, smack the face of the guy. Hey, yep. I mean, you, you smack it and a skull rolls away. Oh, I think he just... Picked clean of any meat. He probably just needs a little bit of time. Um, and when you pick up this bag, you feel um, kind of like a, like a magical aura coming from it. Magical aura? Yeah. Like, like, like has... does Rooster know that? Or does he well, like... Well, you just kind of, I guess you feel tingly when you look at it. You just kind of like attune to magic, so I guess maybe you can yeah, feel it's, it. It's, it's kind of like a leather satchel that has a bunch of like gemstones and adornments on it. Okay. I mean, he opens it and he looks it inside. You can't see anything inside. Ah. ah. Like a completely blacked out void. What the... Put my hand in there. It goes way deeper than it looks. Ah. Congratulations, it's a bag of holding. Hey! Uh, I found something. I found a hole. In a bag. That's weird. Yeah. Alright, uh, I think Kor is mostly just keeping his eyes and his ears on the surrounding... Because yeah. this is sounding more and more like it's a nest of these things. Absolutely it is. So he, his theory of like, I think maybe these things were the ones responsible for all the deaths. He says, okay, I think that's good. We can go now. Like, you want to go? We have proof of the creatures. Uh-huh. We have an object from something that they killed. We can take these back to the other clans and prove that neither of them were the ones responsible for the disappearing. But And the door slams shut. But we can't leave yet. Evidently. Well, because, like how Rooster doesn't even acknowledge the fact. No, that the, he's just like he hears the door just close. Yeah, a door shuts, and he's like, "Well, we can't leave now, <laughs> not just because of the door, but uh, we gotta find um, I forgot his name, the Noel. We remember the brother was helping us. He's probably dead. Well, I mean, that could be him. I don't think so. He's a little small for that. Unless, no, I don't think so. I suggest we keep going forward. Plus, we can also kill something really big, which is the whole point. There's probably not anything big ahead. There's probably just more tiny things. Then we'll kill more tiny things. Plus, we'll come back as heroes. I have to get to Kikoma. Ideally, quickly. Yeah. And we have already been holed up by probably about half a day. So let's go back now so we don't waste more time. Well, I don't think we can go back anyway. And unless you want to jump over that thing all by yourself and go back all by yourself. I I am not the one afraid of tiny spaces. Are you sure you'd be able to get back all by yourself? Yeah. Really? Yeah. All alone in the tunnels. Well, I'm not all alone. He kind of like picks up the skull. I got him. Well, anyway, I, and he gets up, am going to go and uh, explore and see how far I can get. Cora's going to come over to Rooster. Mm-hmm. He's going to try to manhandle him. Like, ah. pick you up, put you over his ah. shoulder, and be like, we're going back. No. I'd like to I'm gonna make, yeah, that. make a post grapple checks, Absolutely. I guess. Absolutely. Okay. A post grapple checks. Let's go. No. PvP. Uh, dirty 20. Me too. Oh. oh. <laughs> Me too. Full wrestling match in the middle of a ah. nest. Yeah. Get over here. Well, Good. defender rules, so. Oh, okay. So you, you just. I win. All just right. barely. Just though. barely, but it's a really good tussle. I'm gonna say he's you, slippery. You only barely win because he's slippery. He's, yeah, true. He's, he's all yeah. moved up with. <laughs> yeah. Bug oh damn it! <laughs> I'm just like trying to catch me, sucker. And he like runs and slides. No power slides. Power slides away. out of your back house. here. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! And Rooster power slides into the next chamber of the. Okay, well I'm temple. fully chasing after him now. He's my ride. <laughs> Get back here! We're leaving. Power 
power slide with me, car! Rooster! Perfect. So yeah, you power slide into the next room, and this appears to be... Like, if you would equate this to, like, a church, this seems to be, like, the main, like, worshipping room. Mm. So there's, like, what the, what would be the remains of pews? You see this slime is absolutely covering everything. Am I any closer to identifying what kind of god this temple would be devoted to? Do you have a religion you can roll? Yeah. Go for it. I got a minus one in it. I got a three. You got a three. I got a three. He is a cleric. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kor, while you don't recognize exactly who this temple belongs to, you feel weirdly comfortable. Huh. You feel at ease in here despite... Well, not, not totally at ease, but maybe you should be panicking more if it weren't for this environment. Make with that information what you will. I mean, that only means one thing to me. <laughs> My house. <laughs> Get out of my house! <laughs> um, give me spot checks. Dirty 20. 17. Okay, you both notice the stalker in the doorway ahead before they dip away. What is a stalker? Some like, kind of... Like something following a us? Shadowy like a shadowy humanoid Oh, humanoid. Okay. Dip mm. away as you spot them. Hello? Hey! And you don't get any response. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna head back over. Who goes there? You head over, yeah. and there's nobody there. I think the bug people might be coming people. They don't do that, do they? Do they do that? Maybe. Uh, maybe we killed their dog. And they're Rooster, actually give people. me a reflex save. Uh, 19. Ooh, okay, you dodge the bug as it tries to jump on you from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Another dog! <laughs> Down uh, point! Yeah, uh, this one's a little bit bigger. Uh, initiative. Okay. Mm. I'm not doing so good. I got a six again. I actually got 17. I got a seven. Cool. So, Rooster, you go first. Another one of these bugs. So, this one a little bit larger, more like an adult, Ooh. has attacked mm. you. I don't think I hit it with a seven. And the other one is 13. Oh, you, you missed with both of those. Damn it! <laughs> I, like, come down with both my swords, and then I, I just, like, I'm on the outside of the bug. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you bring Uh-oh. both swords down at once, and instead gotcha, you, just, sucker. you just stare at its face. I just look like I'm about to hug it. And it just gives you just, like, an, an ear-ringing hiss right at your face. Well, you we don't have to be like that. <laughs> it's gonna be rude. This thing wants your blood and your bones. Um, Not the skin, though. <laughs> <laughs> well... Uh, it attacks. It's gonna chew you up and cough you up like an owl. A rooster <laughs> like pellet. Pellets. Yeah. Uh. Rooster, can it grapple you with a 25? What's it? Yeah. Oh, actually, sorry. It, it, May it. First of all, it, it touches you for a 22. Yeah. To oppose grapple. Okay. I forgot that's how... T- <gasps> t- t- <gasps> oh! It's because of the goo. It's because of the goo. It had an 18, it too. It fucking slips out yeah. again. Whoop. <laughs> Yeah, because it tries to, like, grab you with one of its legs and, like, squeeze you. Yeah, yeah. But instead, uh, you slip out, and this thing can hardly believe it, because I can hardly believe it. Everybody fucking laughed at him being covered in goo. You've never seen a bug thing look surprised before, but boy, if this thing ain't, like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, uh, (laughs) yeah, this thing is pissed. This this kid just slipped out here like a wet hot dog. Dude, with the fucking nat 20, I want to slip out and then slide, like, like, skating in this room. Yeah, yeah. Uh, He's like, ha it was, you know, like Fer- Ferris Buster in here. No, Ferris Buster? Is that what it- No. Bueller. Bueller. <laughs> Buster. <laughs> <I> was- <laughs> well, you're- Oh, no, I really can't pretend I did the No, you need this. to <laughs> lean into it, man. <laughs> I've never seen the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Cora, what are you doing? <laughs> Give me spot check, first of all. Not great. Um, nine. Okay, perfect. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to use my meter glaive and it's- slash at it. Okay, you go ahead. Now that Rooster has safely slipped out it's, of its grasp. Rooster is yeah. about twenty. He's about twenty feet away from you. A slippery baby seat. Well, then I'm gonna I'm gonna make like I'm gonna run in ten feet because my glaive has a ten foot range, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna uh, attack. Sure. Uh, Core doesn't eighteen hit you? Yeah. Do an oppose grapple. Ah, oh, not great. I got an eight. Okay, you take three points of piercing damage. As another bug has actually snuck up behind you, Fuck. now bitten your ankle and is pulling you backwards. How? You are now prone. Shit! And this is also one of the larger variety I'm describing. Rooster, your turn. Core now! You've just power slid away. And I'm power sliding back. For some reason in my head, I'm picturing like, you know, you're doing the power slide on your knees, but you never get up. You're just changing directions miraculously. It's not, like, it's not on his knees because his, his, uh, his shoes are like metal. So I think of it kind of like skates. Oh my god, that's so cool. Yeah, he's just sliding like with the skates. Yeah, I can see it. You're like using the corners of your shoes, kind of like hockey, sli- hockey can, skates. Oh. Yeah. 
hey, well, what do you do? And you hear and see what just yeah, happened to Korg. Yeah, he's going yeah. right after the one that's got Korg. Sure. He's like, ah! Which is like right near that doorway where you saw the stalker earlier. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I rolled a dirty 20 on the first one. Nice, that definitely hits. And then the next one is, oh, 18! Oh, that hits! Fuck yeah! Deal your damage! Nice. Slicing up! Oh, max damage! Oh, holy, holy shit! shit. Uh, you definitely get some good clout. Yeah, nine. Okay, yeah. And then, aw, oh, and then four. For 13 points of damage total, this thing shrieks and therefore lets Core go. Yeah, I'm hit. I'm trying Hell to hit yeah. the, the piercers that were holding him. Yeah. Well, actually, I said it bit its ankle. Oh, so in okay, this case, so it shrieks and therefore lets go head. of Core. Now, Core, you are still prone, but you are no longer restrained. Uh, however, it is the bug's turn. <laughs> mm. I like to think that, like, Rooster came and slatted and then he, like, like slides away. He's like, catch me, sucker! <laughs> Come at me, bitch! Does a, does a 22 hit you, Rooster? Uh, yes. Rooster, you take four points of piercing damage as the one behind you has shot some of its spikes at you. Ow, what? And one of them impales you. It's about like a, um, it's about the size of a pencil. Bad dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, these things are more like, like yeah, absolute yeah. Oh, God. Um, and Cora, the one that dropped you, mm -hmm. tries to bite Rooster instead, but misses. Cora, it's your turn. I, I think what happens is that Core, how it looks from from an outside perspective is that Core is kind of like, he's on his stomach where because he got his ankle got pulled out from under him. And seeing that, you know, there's now two creatures on them and probably more on the way, he'll take out his fist and he'll punch down at the ground, which causes like ice to come out from his fists, crawl on the ground and then come up outwards out of the ground as a ice beast. Ooh. Whoa. Right, he casts Conjure Ice Beast. Cool. Now, are you summoning this for the one you guys are fighting or for the one behind Rooster? Because um, there's one that's right on you and there's one outside the doorway. Probably on the one on me. Like, nearest to me because I don't want to be attacked if I'm getting up. I will summon a fiendish raven. Ooh, fiendish ice raven. Uh, I, I mean, I'm going to command it to attack the creature closest to me. Absolutely. And then I will use the rest of my turn to basically get up. Okay. Do you mind if I roll its attack? Go for it, man. Okay. Rooster is impressed and shocked. I didn't know you could do that. Focus on the monsters. What's his name? I don't know. Not now. It got a nat 20. Oh, bird. Good bird. That's apparently a very good bird. Good bird. He looks like a steward. And then rolled minimal damage, so it dealt a grand total of two. <laughs> Sorry, Still double. Four. Still, hey, whatever, man. Whatever helps. <laughs> don't 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 use that tone with my bird. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a name for the bird? What do we call a good ice raven? Ice raven. I mean, it would just be funny if we just called it bird. Calls it doom. <laughs> doom. Okay. Doom the ice crow or raven. Doom. I like it. Okay. Uh, doom has done its thing. Core, you got up, and rooster it is your turn. What do I got? I got a guy behind me. Mm -hmm. I got a guy in front of me. Mm -hmm. I mean. The one behind me shot me. So I'm gonna be like, well, I don't like that. You still have like a pencil sized spike stuck in your shoulder. Ow. I will keep that later. And then I'm gonna go and turn around and slash at it. Go for it. Uh, no, I rolled a five. You miss. Roll again. Uh, 13. You miss. Dang it. Uh, this thing is just dodging you. Yeah, it's just like you win this round. Um, and it's its turn. Let's see if it can do any better at hitting you. It got a 19. <laughs> I guess you win this round. And then, so what, it's, Rooster, it's gonna bite your freaking head off. Uh, like you can see, it just like unhinges its jaw oh. and it's like, it's like, you see just a shadow as this thing is like ready to bite your head off. And then you hear another one of those ear piercing shrieks coming from down deeper in the temple. And this thing freezes and stops. And it gets up, it skitters away. And so does the other one. Attack of opportunity. If you would like, you may take yeah, it. Yeah, you can't just run away before you try to bite off my head. Oh, eight. Well, you miss both of them. Oh, it's slippery. Or te technically, you butt. get attack of opportunity too if you want to take it. Uh, twelve. That will miss. Okay. And do you want uh, Doom to take an attack? No, Doom can hang out. Okay, Doom hangs out on your shoulder. How long does it last? It lasts one round. Oh. Poof. Good work. Dude. Disappears into snowflakes. Oh, I didn't get to to say goodbye or say hello. You gotta summon him again so I can do that. Maybe later. Let's focus now. Okay. The loud skittering of these bugs that sounds like they just like impale concrete as they walk basically eventually fades away. What the They've left you. Not cool. That was 
Like you can't just you gotta commit to the fight. <laughs> That's such brave talk for someone who's about to have their head bitten off. <sighs> well, I'm born now. Good. Now we're leaving. Well, okay, but how? We can get out through the door. Yep, the hallway that you're already in at the moment. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I still want to keep going. Well, that that would be sorry. That would be the way forward. Is what I'm saying. The hallway you're currently in. Ah, I want to go back and I want to leave. Well, you guys sort that one out. We're going to leave now. We're going to go back out through the tunnels, back up to the camps. We're going to show them our evidence, and then we're going to get our ride and go. Ah, we still got to find the guy, though. No, we don't. We yeah. didn't make any kind of promise to find the guy. I did to his brother. I don't care about what promises you made to them. I have a job to do. Well, if, yeah, but with our contract, I'm taking you to the city, but my contract with the guy I just met is that I gotta go find his brother, so if I fulfill my contract, then I can fulfill yours. So I'm gonna go do that now. Nope. Just walking forward. (laughs) You head deeper into the temple. (laughs) What if I... uh, I will... I won't... uh, I live for adventure. This is what we're doing. Adventure. Kor, come on, join me. We can (laughs) sing the adventure song, which I will make up right now. And he sings a horrible adventure song that I'm not going to sing because I don't sing. You sing a most horrible adventure song. Absolutely. As you go (laughs) through. He is a rooster. Oh, fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) As you walk through uh, various twisting hallways and chambers, and eventually as you're so engrossed in your song Crunch, you step down and you have stepped through the ribcage of a knoll corpse. This one looks fairly fresh. Look at that. We found him. We Did we, go. though? Yes, we... I'm going to check. I search. Sure. Give me a search. What, what are you looking I for? I hope you find a fucking name tag. <laughs> I hope I find some sort of You find tag. a dog tag? Uh, <laughs> I'm not technically dogs. Um, True. Anyway. Not even canines. Okay, yeah. I'll just go fuck myself then. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do. <laughs> the improv of go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Uh, okay, so... Uh, I rolled a 17. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's say you find, yeah, you know what? You find a leftover shield that this guy was wearing. It's like a buckler, and it has the symbol of the blood fangs on it. Hi. Excellent. Perfect proof. Core picks up the shield. Now we can go. Core, spot. That's actually okay. That's a 17. 17? Yeah. Okay. You actually find a few more corpses throughout this room. You find a few that have insignia that you recognize from the blood fangs. And you also see a few um, dwarven and non-dwarven miners. And they're actually stuck in the webs on the wall, uh, very much dead and partially mm. eaten. Okay, perfect. But some bodies are, have not been touched yet. Okay. I want to grab up all the sigils and stuff like that, like all the blood sure. thing things. Yeah. Um, and he's just like, he's going to put it in the bag, in the hole. Mm-hmm. In the infinite hole. Mm-hmm. So he's like, okay, put in there, in there. Sure. And I mean, are you taking anything from the miners or just from the blood fangs? Both. Okay, cool. We have, then we have enough proof. Good. This will settle the fighting and then we can go. Mm. Are you satisfied now? Well, okay, but didn't Linda want us to stop her people from being kidnapped? So this is kind of what we got to do is we got to stop these things. So I suggest we could light this place on fire. But we got to find the core of it. Spot checks. Heh, core. I only got a nine. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, something moves in your peripheral vision from the next room over, but you don't quite recognize it. Is it still like a humanoid figure? I guess you I wouldn't spot you it. You don't know. You didn't roll high enough. Hello? You know, if we just... Maybe there's a person down here who's also an adventurer, who's also trying to solve this problem, and maybe we could work as a team. Hello? Huh? Hello? And it's an echoing response you get. It sounds very distant. Mm. My name is Rooster. 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 <laughs> Approach. I'm fucking running and power sliding. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fucking power sliding everywhere. Yeah. This place is awesome. I will also say that the smell that has been hitting you uh, is getting stronger. So it's 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 quite overwhelming and smells extremely sm- strong of like rot but also like a very strong kind of ammonia weird-ish smell. Can't quite identify it. Anyway, we are power following. sliding. Oh, yeah, power I'm sliding. chasing the power sliding child. Yeah. <laughs> Not a child. <laughs> Not a child. Yeah. Didn't expect your players to power slide through your whole dungeon. 
No, I did not. I think you could have made a good bet on it. I think honestly. <laughs> Core, um, as you go through these hallways chasing after Rooster, you do sp- you spot a few like religious artifacts and busts. Give me another religion check. It's tragic that I have such shit religion rolls because it's like he's a cleric. I'm giving you like a, a plus. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, nine. Okay. You know what? That that was a plus. I was gonna say a plus five, but it's high enough. What you simply recognize is that this, these artifacts you're seeing, um, they appear to be demonic in nature, but they're not Abrits. Hmm. Your best bet is that perhaps these are from um, a long-gone demonic god, or per- perhaps one that was defeated by Abrith. Hmm. And since demons tend to have very abstract shapes, you're not really sure what this thing is. has horns, has muscles, you know? <laughs> it's, it's looking imposing. Not friendly. Mm, interesting. Yet you do feel oddly comfortable around it. I think he'll. If there, is there like a small totem, like something he can just kind of take? Let's say there's an amulet with a sigil on it. He'll nab that. Just be like that. Eh, it's I, old, beat up, but it's proof. Rooster. I am skating towards the ominous voice. Yeah. Not a care in the world. Not a brain cell in the head. No, this is like a roller derby. <laughs> You uh, roll a derby towards the ominous voice that told you to approach before you enter yet another large chamber. This one actually looks to be something like an underground garden. Ooh. While the maybe perhaps one's beautiful plants are now replaced with either dead trees or some mushrooms that are managing to grow here, there is a large demonic statue in the center, also kind of decrepit, but in front of the statue is a very, very large creature from the same kind of bugs that you've been seeing. This room, or this whole chamber is also covered in more of the gooey stuff, as well as a lot of eggs. These eggs are about the size of like, like your head in real life. Like a beach ball. Yeah. Uh, You have certainly... Okay, my head's not the size of a beach ball. You have certainly found (laughs) the queen. The queen. The queen. The queen. The queen. And she does have a couple guards around her. Ah. But they don't attack you. In ah. fact, they just they sit by her. Ah. They don't do anything. Are they... They're the same creatures that we've been fighting? Yes. What okay. is with the humanoid things that we keep spotting? I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it? Oh, fucking weird. Acor! Mm. I found it! Hello. Hello. Um, so you, Cor, you arrive and see the same thing. And when I describe the size of the queen, I'm going to say that she's about 15 feet tall. Um, but quite stationary, as queens typically are. Is she like a, a like a big bug? Or is she like a humanoid? No, no, no. She's also a big bug. Okay. But she looks like the ones you've been seeing with like the six legs, the weirdly unhinged jaw, and the sharp teeth. But she is uh, a lot bulkier. And also, uh, has, she just has more mass to herself, also because she, you know, births eggs and stuff like that. And there also appears to be some uh, of the smaller variety here, the one you killed earlier, that seem to be, like, tending to the hive. They're cleaning stuff, they're moving corpses around, they're moving eggs around, that kind of stuff. Okay. What would you like to do before I do anything? Okay, so... Right now, you're, you're I guess, in a temporary staring contest with the queen. Yeah, yeah, I'm just kind of looking at her and... I mean, I'd like to talk to her. What would you like to say? Hi, um, I'm Rooster, and you are Big Bug. Yarnuck. Okay, I'm gonna say Big Bug McGee, because I can't. No. <laughs> I can't pronounce Yarn Yarnuck. 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 Okay, okay. You know, I could try. Amelia says I should try that more often saying people's names properly. Okay, um, Yarnuck, you're, uh, like, um, eating a lot of people. No. Well, okay, like, he shows the skull he has. I don't know, man, this uh, this looks like you've been eating a lot of people. A few. Uh, okay, a few is, like, actually, I don't know how much a few is. You're probably right, but it's still too much. Need help. Okay, with what? Hive has thief steal eggs. 
I think Cor from the doorway is like, you're kidding me. <laughs> this is the second time we've walked into a place that we are sure is the cause of the problem. Yeah. And then that place has a new problem. Yeah. And no, we can't keep doing this. Oh, well, okay, I want to hear what the problem is, though. <clears throat> it doesn't mean I'll do it, but I want to I wanna know. So, so somebody's taking your eggs? Please find. Okay, why? Need eggs. Okay, cool, but everybody needs something. I mean, look. I will be your friend, but you have to stop eating my other friends. Then what do we eat? Rocks. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over and again like grab Rooster by the head and kind of like pull him over to the side to talk to hey. him. What? Okay, we're just, I'm we're speaking in a hush tone. I do not want the queen to be able to hear okay. me. Okay, we'll just say you do. Okay, for sure. Rooster, we cannot keep doing this. What? If we make okay, let's if we help this bug thing save her eggs and that's just more creatures that are going to keep killing the people around in the area we can't keep making deals with these things we have to stop this somewhere and decide that this is the end we came here to get rid of this nest and now we're gonna do that okay but also who's stealing our eggs who that's cares weird. why do i care why do we care i have other places to be right now mm, i mean i don't know i think it's kind of just an interesting thing because you know I don't know. I've been really bored lately. This seems like something really cool to look into. We could probably find something interesting on the surface. Like tomorrow, you'll find something interesting. Tomorrow, like the next thing that crosses your path will be interesting to you. Let's just go. Well, let me think. You hear I, from behind you, can offer reward. Between her large <laughs> legs and spiky legs, uh, she pulls out what looks like a jar. Um, it's about the size of like a basketball, roughly. Okay. A clay jar. Um, that obviously has a magical aura around it. Okay. Find my children. I give you this. What's in the What's in the the jar? Magic. Okay. I don't really need any. What's in it? What's the actual magic? She puts it down in front of you. Can I open it? Boom! Open it. Water is in it. Ah! I want to stick my finger in it. It's nice, cool, brisk water. And I pull it out and I lick it. That is tasty, fresh water. It's water. I mean, I appreciate it. I'm not really thirsty right now, but... Um, she touches it, says something in a language you don't understand, and then the water changes to become honey. Touch and think. Oh. Well, I want to touch it. Yeah. And I want to think of his, like, drink that he really likes. The kitchen sink. Yeah. Boom. Kitchen sink right there. Oh. Cora's unimpressed. <laughs> <laughs> Cor is magical not, water. This is not at all the point of this Cor, whole thing. Cor, look at it. I'm quiet. He, yeah, he <laughs> puts his hand over your over your face <laughs> again and looks at the queen. Why do you think we would help you? Why are you asking us for help? You seek passage. Yes. I can help with children. We can give you safe passage. Help me find children. Help me feed children. We help you cross desert. Now we're coming to a conundrum. Hey, I hope you liked this episode of Fool's Gold Sands. If you'd like to see more of our stuff, like all the comics and character art and everything we're posting, you can go to foolsgold.fun slash sands to check it out there. If you'd like to support us, there's also a tip jar on the website. So go check it out and I'll see you next time.